Welcome to the sixth edition of the Flogas Irish Open Match Play Championship, set in the wonderful Drews Glen Resort. Wonderful backdrop of the Irish Sea and the rolling Wicklow Hills. We're set for some wonderful golf this week, two different formats, both singles and four ball. And we're filled this weekend with county champions, both singles and in four ball. So the format basically, you enter, you win your county championship. And that gets you to the finals here at Druid's Heath. And all these players are county champions. Proud owners of that title, but the real one they're looking for is the All-Ireland Irish Open Match Play Championship. They really have been met with some wonderful conditions this morning here at Druid's Heath. Ideal for golf. Just who can cope with the pressure, try bring their game with them. I saw them win their county championship. Okay, we're here with Matthew Cummins representing Loud and Alan Duffy were representing Dublin North. First match out and first match in. How did it go, lads? Yeah, it went very well for myself. I was yeah. lucky enough to win. Um, Matthew was very unlucky the first three holes, just couldn't get the tee shot in play, but that made a difference, I think, in the end. He mm, was chasing holes yeah. then. Trying and to play a catch-up, really. Just playing too much good golf, really. For and it's a very hard golf course. Up, really, yeah. Very hard golf course to play catch-up on. Mm. The, the greens are very fast. Greens like glass, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Very greens tricky, good yeah, setup. Good. Uh, nice course, yeah, very yeah. good, yeah. We'll be back weather's, again next year. The weather's lovely. Oh, most definitely. The weather's, if you guarantee us the weather yeah. like this, we'll yeah. definitely come back. So Joel Kennedy with two putts to win over Roberta Hamilton and the five-handed capper does that and will advance. Okay, I'm here with Joe Kennedy from Kerry and Roberta Hamilton from Monaghan. Roberta, I seem to remember another Hamilton playing here last year. That's right, my brother played here. Oh, he, He's played, played, he reached the final a couple of times, or the, these finals a couple of times, all right. So you got the bug from him, did you? Well, he, he entered me in this this year for me since. Oh, very good. And how did your match go with Joe today? Very, very close. We were um, t tied the whole way until the eighth, and uh, we have, that was the first hole we had, and then Joe clinched on the last there. Congratulations, Joe. You're happy enough with your game this year, are you? Happy enough. So far, so good, yeah. Um, just keeping it in play here is the thing, really. Yeah. There's a lot of trouble um, if you can keep it in play and maybe keep the two putts, maximum two putts on the greens. The greens are lightning fast. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the secret, really. And that is always a feature at Druid's Heat. The greens are lightning fast, very undulating. So it's a challenge not only from tee to green, but once you get on the green. Joined here by the Clare champions, Liam and Declan. And Liam, we know you from previous adventures. You were our first winner in the singles. How are you looking forward to the four ball format this year? Absolutely delighted to be here, first of all, getting out of Clare and um, really looking forward to a day out with Declan in the sunshine here in Drew's Heath. Fantastic facility and uh, hopefully it's a long day's golf ahead of us. So what's the strategy for four ball? Are you the steady man and Declan's the, the animal? Uh, essentially, yeah. Declan is the aggressive guy. He's the birdie machine and I'm supposed to be the steady Eddie. So that's the theory anyway. We'll see how it works out in practice. Excellent, lads. Great to have you here and best of luck. And we have a different format this year. The finals are going to be played over nine holes. So two tee start for both singles and the four balls. So they'll play back nine. And then in the afternoon, play on the other side. So everyone gets a really good look at this wonderful track. But it's a pace of play issue, which is key nowadays. We want to get around as quick as we can. Judging by some of those swings, that won't be an issue. Paul, you're famous for impersonating rock stars. What golf are you going to impersonate this weekend? Uh, hopefully Rory McIlroy, but probably someone a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to win this weekend, lads? Hopefully. Big time. Are they listening? No, or not. <laughs> <laughs> Paul and Terry there from South Dublin. Great characters and also good golfers. Very low handicappers, just five and six handicap. So there are certainly ones to watch this weekend. You can see the... Oh, here we go now. Here's Daniel, who really powerful player from Limerick on the 13th. 285 yards just to get on the green on this par four. We moved the tee up to add a bit of excitement and Daniel sitting certainly didn't let us down. There's his partner, Shane, who was the winner of the singles last year. So he's back for some four ball action and 
playing a good supporting role there for Daniel. Lovely shot from the fairway. Nice four ball strategy. One guy has a crack of the grain and the other guy plays it sensibly. And that was Daniel's ball there just on the edge so it didn't quite make the grain. Let's see how he can negotiate from just down short of this green. Penalty area is what they call it nowadays. I have to say we were hoping just a little bit he might have fallen in there, but didn't quite give us the TV that we were looking for. They just had two putts from here to secure the win. Which he duly did. And up to the 14th grain. Good match here with Monan and Cork, but Monan would prove to have too much for Cork. Nice putt there. Cozied up to the hole. Shane McNorton from Monaghan. Really are blessed with conditions. Now back to that 14th tee. Daniel Dore, powerful player from Limerick. These two are going to be tough to beat. Downhill 14th, par 3. Something just a little right of this pin is ideal. And that's where he is. Uphill putt. Shane Scanlon maybe just a little bit too much to the right. Trying to hook one in there. A little more hooking going on here too. Get those alignment rods out, I'd have to say. Looks okay though, just left of the hole. So Duffy and Wynn having a ding-dong battle. This is from the back of the ninth. Match all square. Just slides by. And that slides by too. Duffy. So win with a putt for a win. And he misses that. And they'll have to go back down tiles, which Duffy would win. So there's no win for win. Back to Scanlon in the four ball. On the 14th par three down the hill. Nicely negotiated. Winner last year of the singles, Shane, so... Playing with the powerhouse, Daniel Dorr. Can he match that power with a little bit of finesse on the grains? This one right of the hole on 14 for birdie two. And yes, he can. Wonderful birdie on that little par three down the hill. Limerick in the driving seat. Fist pumps all round. So the McHugh brothers... And, uh, and Michael from Sligo Leitrim Champions just trying to hang on to these Limerick guys and that will slide by and they had only one more hole to go tough against these two Limerick players low handicappers good enough for Limerick let's hear from them here with the winning Limerick team Shane and Daniel great off this morning boys must Cheers. be pleased with that Thanks, yeah. yeah delighted Get ready, sir. here is Stepa very early start, yeah. How hairy, did... hairy start. Hairy start. Yeah, How... you, you woke up about the third hole. Took me about four holes. Yeah. Four <laughs> balls gone. <laughs> Best but start. That's yeah. the beauty of four ball, though. Bit He's of tough selling. He had a great start. Yeah, he was a couple under par. A couple under par to start, and then then came into the end. Thank God. So mm. delighted. Tough sale, Will. What's the challenge like? You're obviously two very good players, low handicappers. What's the challenge like playing the higher handicappers? Um, in this format, the way the shots are falling, it's that not that not too bad. And do, do you like the nine hole? Is a little different to. It's different, yeah. Yeah, Dan's an aggressive player anyway. So. Yeah, my downfall, 18 hole, is I um, I fall asleep halfway through the round. Okay. And next thing the man comes back and I'm in trouble. So the nine hole suits me to the round. Perfect. Well, best of luck this afternoon, lads. Cheers, Cheers. Roger. Thanks. Thanks, Eric. We have to get in one of the local members, Kevin McGloin, member here at Druids. Heath, taking on Adrian Dornan. Adrian had too much for him. Adrian, the champion from Wexford. Beautiful putt there down the green, and he would advance. Never easy playing a championship on your home golf course. 
Always just adds that little bit of pressure. And Adrian nice just had too much for him. So over to 17th grain. Where Derek Kelly and Martin O'Driscoll would have too much for Luke and Adrian from Offaly. And let's hear from them. Great win for Waterford this morning over Offaly. You must be delighted, guys. Thrilled, we're thrilled, we're yeah. thrilled. It was a good match, you know. It was a good match. We got a bit lucky there on the 17th, but sure, it was great to get That's through. Cool. So Victor Barry from Donegal trying to stay alive on the final green against John Barry. And that wouldn't be good enough. And John Barry would tap in. Concession, really. Two from there, so he would advance to the next round. Hats off, shake hands. Well done. A ding dong battle here between Dublin and South. It's gone all the way to the final green. Terry O'Reilly and Paul McKeever. And here's Paul in action. Doubles at the weekend as a as a rock star. Always as a tribute band. Now Terry trying to close the door in this match. Slow put up the hill. Really tough pin position here on nine. So Tyrone of this to, just to stay alive. And as I was saying, not the best hole location on the last. Maybe the greenkeeper didn't get that football coupon up. No good for Tyrone. So this is to stay in the match. And he leaves it short. So it's Dublin South who advanced, a little unfortunate, but that's golf at times. That was tight, lads, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, tight well, They were two down after two, guy. And we come back, draw it, and then they went one up again. Went one up on 16. You too. Hold a lovely puff for a half on 17, and then we had to win the 18, twi the 18 twice, as you say. Um, so we won it twice, so yeah, we scraped through, Gary. We didn't play our best, but hopefully we do in the afternoon. And that's match play golf, really. You just have to beat your opponent. And that's probably not the best way of trying to do it. But it does give you a feel. Get on the wrong side of these slopes. And it's a great test. So sloppy three put down 14 for Alex. But he would advance. And it really has been a beautiful morning here. The last 32 have now been whittled down to the last 16. And there they are, some interesting battles. Dublin North v Kerry. Wexford from Manor on the other side and also Mead, West Mead. Local rivals trying to advance to the last eight. And plenty still to play for in the four ball. West Mead, Kilkenny on the right side of the draw. And Limerick, possibly favourites from the last 32. And we'll be right back with the action just after this short break. Welcome back to the Flowgas Irish Open Match Play Championship. Straight into the singles action again. Jody Duffy from Offaly, who got off to a flyer here against Pat Ryan, our two-time champion. He was three up after three, really in command of this game, but Pat Ryan, the man, never knows when he's beaten. He's been clawing his way back. And this put on 16 for Duffy to stay two up. But two to play. Just slides by, so Ryan is still alive. Just the one down going up the eighth. 17th hole, we're playing a Nile hole format this week. Much quicker and I have to say a lot more exciting. So Pat Ryan just trying to stay in this game. All the pressure really is back on Duffy. Big drive down 17 though, down the right hand side. One up, still a slight advantage, you'd have to say, but... 
Pat has, has to use a buggy this week. He's got all those trophies in there. So going in with the fairway wood on 17, up the hill into the breeze. And it would find that front left bunker. It's a big chance here for Duffy. Was three up, now only one. Pressure is on. Can he respond? Oh, it's an edgy one. Short left as well. Tough lie in the bunker, ball below his feet. Slightly plugged from that wedge that came in, trying to dig it out. Oh, that's a huge mistake. Which was enough to level this game for Pat Ryan, so he's smelling blood. Downhill par four. Finds the fairway, puts the pressure straight back on Duffy. Breeze strong out of the left hand side. Ooh, that's right in the boondai. He wouldn't find his trolley in there. And Ryan would advance. Now back to 14, John Barry from Cork. Going along nicely. Really competent seven handicapper. It's going to be tough to beat this weekend. And Adam McCleary from Armagh, the left-hander. He thinks he might just have enough to get by him. But he'll need his putting boots if he's going to do that. Look at the speed of these greens. What a putt down the hill there from McCleary. For a birdie two, John Barry picks up his marker. Three not going to be good enough. We're absolutely blessed with the weather this weekend. Beautiful sunshine. Just overdid the break there, but as you can see, it's trying to claw his way back. So this really was a ding-dong battle between Galway. Seen here. Declan Grimes. What a shot that is. And Roscommon Longford just got into a spot of bother on this hole, so David Cahill really... Just needs to get down and three from here. And that's nicely played, which would help them close out the match. So Galway will advance against Roscommon, Longford, and let's hear from our winners. Declan Grimes, the Galway champions who defeated Roscommon Mayo in a very tense match there. Only beat them on the 18th with almost a chip in. Yeah, it was brilliant. Dex chipped there and then went in, but it was enough to do the job on the day. So we're back in again in the morning to go again. So down to the ninth and final green, we're playing a nine-hole format in this Flogas Irish Open Match Play Championship. And Terry O'Reilly trying to close out the game for Dublin South against Waterford. And he duly does. Shake hands all around and let's hear from our winners. That's well, what a match. Mm. Oh, brilliant game, brilliant yeah, game. It was four bodies yeah. between the two teams in the, in the nine and holes. Just in nine holes, you know. That was some shot in by you, Paul, on the last, but yeah. it was Terry who was the man that clinched the deal. Oh, oh sick carrying away on my shoulders, <laughs> like killing me here, killing me. But no, no, it was joint, it was brilliant. The two was played very well, I have we to didn't say. Play great Especially the, the second match. This yes, morning it, wasn't great. This afternoon. I'd say this afternoon, we about 85, 90% yeah. our game was there, you know. So, so there's still, still a bit there, you know. We're taking this to Dublin like the GAA. <laughs> <laughs> Westmead trying to stay alive on the 8th green against Kilkenny, which wasn't good enough. So they advanced to the quarterfinals, and let's hear from them. Delighted to be joined by Kilkenny. Two great wins today, lads. You must be delighted. Thanks, Gary. Yeah, we're delighted to um, get through. Nine-hole format is short. It's, you know, we went down early in both matches, and to come back, we did, we did very well, because you could be back in the car after, after an hour if, if things go wrong. So, um, yeah, we're delighted to get through. Is that the challenge, Michael, the nine-hole format? It's a lot yeah. quicker. You'd be thinking about starting off, like you can't go down too much or you're, you're gone, like, you know, but we kept, went down in the first two holes on both nines and um, we focused in a bit then and we got going then, yeah. There's also a great match with Wexford and Down, which would go down to the second last hole too. Just short right for Down. This really is a good chance for Shane Fortune. Very talented left-hander. 
Not too long to golf, but he's really improved quite rapidly. Towns Cup winner a couple of years ago. Ably supported by his partner, Sean Hegarty, who rolls it in to close out the game. Excellent. Well played. No, he's played well, boys. Well played. Thank you. Enjoy that. Well played. Good four. Well played. Well done, Sean. Great win this afternoon, lads, against Down. Shane, you must be delighted with that. Yeah, nice win, yeah. Yeah, it's tough out there. The greens are it's hard to get used to them, you know. So it's lovely. Sean, beautiful shot and two good putts into the last to finish the match. You must have played nicely today. Yeah, we played, played pretty well. I had, had a couple of birdies and Shane had a birdie as well. So we, were, we played pretty well to, to beat the lads there in the eighth. So. Lads, you're through to the last eight. Best of luck. Yeah, thank Thanks you. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers. We'll see you tomorrow. Adam McCleary from Armagh trying to stay alive against Barry and it misses. It's a great win, John, for Cork over Armagh this afternoon. You must be delighted. Yes, thank you. Absolutely delighted. Yeah, had a, had a great day. Had a good match this afternoon now as well. Good competitor and happy to come out the right side of it. Adam, unlucky, but how did you enjoy your experience at the Irish Open match play? I, did, I definitely enjoyed my experience. I have to say, the second time I've been knocked out by somebody from court. <laughs> so I'm hoping next next year I might get a better draw on new court first couple of days anyway. I'm delighted to be joined by Andy Hickey, the owner of the Flowgast Irish Open match play. Year six, Andy, but year three at Druid's Heath. And things just seem to be getting better and better here. Ah, uh, yeah, it's fantastic this year. We've got the weather, of course, presented in immaculate condition. Marcus and the guys have done a great job. So obviously, the format is you win your county and you qualify for the All Ireland Finals here, all the county winners. But this year, Andy, we've a change of format for the finals. Yeah, we've we've changed it up. We've gone from 18 holes final matches to nine hole final matches. Why did you do that? Do you feel obviously there's a lot of chat and? conversations going on in the media about pace of play. Was that the reason behind it? Partly. Um, it's a con bone of contention with a lot of people, the, uh, the pace of play, but we just felt that guys were tired coming in after the 72-hole finals last year and the year before. So we decided we would really need to look at it and come up with a different format to try and get the best out of everybody, get their best golf so they weren't so fatigued coming in. Well, Andy, we have the finals later on this afternoon. Really We're looking forward. forward to some really good golf and continued success for the championship. Thanks very much, Gary. Appreciate it. So we're down to eight either side in the singles and the four ball. Some great matchups there. Kildare, Carlo, and Cork and Meath should be an absolute ding dong game. And in the four balls, big game to watch: Limerick v Dublin South. And that old Leinster clash with Kilkenny and Wexford and the Ulster clash of Antrim and Cavan. But don't forget Louth and Galway. Delighted to be joined by Ben Osborne through to the last eight. How have you enjoyed the Irish Open match play so far, Ben? Brilliant experience, to be fair. I mean, you have loads of boys, everyone's a bit busy, but yeah, these boys are here behind the camera making it a little bit interesting. So you're obviously not a local. How did you find out about the Irish Open match play? I was sitting at home in South London and I saw an advertisement on Instagram. Irish Open match play, play in front of the TV cameras if you make it. So I was thinking, yeah, love a bit of that. I'm in there like swimwear, so I'll jump in and sign up. It's nice to be a part of the last day, you know. So you're in the four balls, obviously, and you've had a history together. Can you tell us a bit about that? Uh, 2017, we won the provincial towns and the Barton the same year, and the two of us were on the two of them, so we're yeah. still kind of have, having a few drinks over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, playing for Enniscorty. Playing for Enniscorty yeah. Golf Club, so. Excellent. Yeah. And you're playing Kilkenny this morning. How are you looking forward to that? Just go for a quick start, yeah. get a good drive and keep going. Keep, keep the pressure keep on him. Yeah. Best of luck, lads. Yeah. Enjoy. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Thank Gary. you. Cheers. Thanks. I'm delighted to be joined by John Rooney, MD for Flowgas Ireland. John, why the association uh, with the Irish Open match play? 
Well, I think our association with golf goes back to the Irish Junior Open Series and then it then extended in to the, uh, the Flogas Irish Amateur Open, uh, which is a fairly big event. And I suppose the thing about most, most players in Ireland you know, at amateur level, they love just playing match play. So when we were approached about uh, getting involved, you know, we, we gave it a go four years ago. We got a great response, both from the community who, who enter, uh, but also just the golfing community generally. And I suppose what we found now in the last four or five years is through our association with golf, we're just getting good positive feedback from members, from elite players, from amateur, you know, knockabout players. And that's, that's just good for us. So we're more than happy just to reciprocate and put a little bit more into golf and, and um, we get good, good feedback from, from the community as well. So that's, that's probably the reason why. Marcus Doyle, the golf manager at Druid's Glen Golf Resort. It's great to be here again for our fourth year, Marcus. Well, uh, Gary, first and foremost, yeah, four years doing this now. We're delighted each year the tournament gets bigger and better. Um, we just love to see uh, match play played in Druid's Heath. And again, to get exposure to 32 counties congregating on Druid's Heath Golf Resort, uh, we're delighted with that. We've absolutely loved our time here over the last four years, but there's some new exi exciting developments coming in the future. Yeah, uh, the resort recently sold to the Neville Group, uh, who have four other properties in Ireland. Uh, Neville Hotels have confirmed that they'll be investing in both golf courses to improve the facilities, so we're delighted. So first up in the quarterfinals, we've Gordon Kinsler from Carlo, county champion. Taking on Pat Courtney, powerful hitter, representing Kildare. And really is a stunning setting here. The backdrop of the Irish Sea. Wonderful morning for golf. And our Cork champion, John Barry. Very steady seven handicapper. Son Patrick on the bag. Taking on Ben Orsborne, over from England. Now based in Hedford. Alex Nakora, also in the quarters, taking on Wexford's Adrian Dorn. So the early quarterfinal is underway, and we will see you right after this break. Yeah. Welcome back to the quarterfinal stage of the Flogas Irish Open Match Play Championship hosted this week by Druids Heath Golf Club. Straight back out to the action with John Barry, the difficult par five second hole. Well guarded green. Good action there from Adrian Dorn from Wexford. Great control there, find that just 10 feet left of the hole for his birdie. Something we're seeing a lot more of nowadays. Yeah, the old colour golf balls. Chance got him begging there. So Nakora to win the hole. And he duly rolls it in. Advantage Dublin South. Straight up to the top game on the fifth tee. Gordon Kinsler from Carlo taking on Pat Courtney from Kildare. Difficult green just to try to get at this flag. Quite an elevated tee shot. That's going to leave a difficult putt down the green. A little bit from right to left. Very little breeze this morning, but just a firmer green, still testing conditions. Courtney trying to flop it up on the green there and negotiates that beautifully and in it goes for a birdie two. Someone is happy. I don't think it was Gordon Kinsler. So this really is going to be a ding dong game. John Barry from Cork and Ben Osborne based now in Kells and County Mead, originally from London. Oh, just sneaks it in the side. Well done, Ben. So 
John Barry taking his time, eyeing up this pot for a win. Slippy down the hill. Just misses on the low side. So advantage Osborne. Unfortunately the weather has turned a little sour. But not for Gordon Kinsler, who really is in command up the seventh. Remember it's a nine hole format. It's so really down the sixteenth in old money, and that's a wonderful shot in there. And that would be good enough to win the hole and have the match, but Pat Courtney from Kildare did advance. So back up to the ninth green, which is the final green in this format, Ben Osborne. Just trying to stay alive against John Barry from Cork. This really has been a great game. Some super golf. Can he stay alive? No, he can't. Hats off. So John Barry from Mallow County Cork will advance. So there we have the semi-final singles, Tipperary Kildare and Dublin South taking on Cork. And also in the four balls, Kilkenny Cavan and Dublin South, probably favourites now, taking on Galway. First semi-final lineup, Pat Courtney, powerful hitter, just out here with the fairway wood, trying to find this. 10th fairway. And he's taking on our two time champion Pat Ryan from Tipperary. A wily old character. Never knows when he's beaten. There's been moves here in the singles with John Barry from Cork. Just tapping in there. In command of his game. So Pat Courtney under pressure over the back of the green. Difficult, Try, just trying to get this close back down the slope, which left the door open for Pat Ryan. And Pat only needs one chance. And he takes it and will advance to the final. Okay, you're here with Pat Ryan, the Tipperary champion. Pat, you're through to the final again. What is your secret? Never give up. Because yesterday, we played a chap here, and I was three down after in the first three holes. I was only so close to going home, and here I am today going to contest the final. All the fellows I've been playing are half my age, and here, I, here am I trudging along, Still able to take the young guns out. So far, and hopefully we'll do it again this evening. Game is never over, to, as the fellow says, till the fat lady sings. <laughs> <laughs> so the tension really is building in the other semi-final with Barry and Nakora. Barry actually had three putts to win this hole. And maybe just sights on the final, you have to say, his first time to get to the final. He won his county final in Cork to get him to this stage, but he's now within striking distance of the final. Son Patrick on the bag. Maybe the pressure is getting to him. We're here with John, uh, John Barry, the Cork county champion. How are you feeling? I'm feeling fine, good match, tough going, like so just keep going now and make no mistakes and try and finish out the match. And hopefully we'll get through to the next round. So here we are down the 18th hole. Difficult par four, tough pin on the left hand side. Good shot on the green, advantage Barry. Nakora has been in all sorts of bother in the bunker across the green, trying to dally that down and totally misjudges the pace. Didn't really need a whole lot more, another maybe foot and a half and that was all the way down to the hole. Watch how gently he hits this. Absolute lightning down this green. Super. 
And that does leave the door open for John Barry. Just the two putts from here to advance the final. Alex Nakora has had enough shake hands. It's a gentleman's game. Nicely played, Alex, but John Barry is through to our final. So possibly the match of this championship semi-final Dublin South versus Limerick four really good golfers there's going to be very little in this Terry O'Reilly has put it beautifully in the previous rounds and continues on with that on the first hole difficult green to judge advantage Dublin South Powerful player Daniel Dorr, but also showing a really good touch there. Oh, shot shot there. Shot. McKeever showing his class there. Smash driver bang onto the middle of the green. Terry taking no chances, trying to keep two balls in play. So pressure on Dorr, needs to find this green. Drivable par four, but only for the longer hitters. 290 to find this green. Door did miss it on the right hand side and shows absolutely stunning touch. Just down to four feet. Puts a little bit of pressure back in McKeever. This for Eagle. Uh, it's a bit of a lag, but clever there for McKeever. Puts the pressure back on Door. This is for a half. Slides by on the low side, advantage Dublin South. Another great battle in the Kilkenny Wexford semi final. Sean Hegarty there, chipping up well from just short of the green. But really, all eyes on this Dublin South Limerick. Titanic struggle, great shot there from McKeever. So Shane Scanlon under pressure, 40 feet away, coming down the hill from right to left. Dublin South's Paul McKeever in close for birdie, and that just slides by. So after a brilliant second shot, this is for Paul McKeever for Dublin South to advance to the semi-final. And he makes no mistake, in it goes, Dublin South advance. Coming back up at the fairway again. Titanic battle with Cavan and Antrim in the other quarterfinal. Just how unlucky is that? Fantastic bunker shot, rattles the flag, but ricochets so unlucky back down off the yep. green. Using all the slope there, cleverly played. So that's stone dead, so a huge putt for Antrim. Must make birdie to take this to a tie hole. And he's up to the task. What a putt. So this was a little earlier in the match. We had to throw this one in. Sorry, Tony. Just work on that spin control over the winter. So back to the serious stuff. Ding dong battle here with Galway in Dublin South. Excellent work there from the Galway pair. McKeever trying to hold for a half. Just slides by on the high side. Advantage Galway. It's good to have an advantage, but you need to take it. David has been rock solid on the greens all weekend and makes no mistake yet again. Shake hands. Big shock, but Galway advanced to the final. Surprised to see Dublin South go out, but this 9-0 format really doesn't give you any breathing space. 
Straight up to the other semi-final on the eighth green. Michael Daly for birdie. Kilkenny one up. So in this nine hole format. Maybe this for the win. In it goes. Big pressure on Tony from Cavan just to try to stay in this match. And it's not to be, so Kilkenny will advance to the final to take on Galway. Let's hear from them. I'm joined by Colin and Michael from Kilkenny. The great Castle Cornwall Golf Club. Congratulations, guys, in the final. Looking forward to it? Thanks, Gary. Yeah, we're very much looking forward to it. We've done well to get here, so we'd like to finish the job. And I suppose when you get to a final, you always like to win it, so that's the plan. Michael, that was a fantastic putt in the semi final to close out the match. Surely that kind of putting is what you're looking for for the final? Yeah, if we could get one or two of them, that would be nice, wouldn't it? So here we go, the final. Kilkenny, two left handers from Castle Comer, Michael Daly and Colin Dunn. I'm joined by Galway, our finalists, David and Declan. Congratulations, guys. Thanks for Gary. What's the strategy? You've obviously played great to get to the final. What's the strategy for the final? Anything different? Nothing. We just seem to be gelling well. Every shot seems to work out for us. So hopefully keep going for another nine holes. There's David teeing off the tenth hole, the first hole of this final. His partner, Declan Grimes. Difficult stance there, just on the edge of the bunker for David. He hits a super shot, does find the green. Well, just on the edge, we'll give him that. Michael Daly trying to reciprocate that putt to close out the semi final. Just slides by on the right. So it's Declan Grimes. First blood on the first. Galway take a one-up lead. John Barry, you're our finalist for the singles this year for 2019. How thrilled are you with that prospect? Uh, absolutely delighted. Um, it's been a great journey from the very first match up to get to here. And um, really enjoyed all the matches. Met some great lads along the way. So lucky enough to get here and looking forward to the, this afternoon's final. Tough match this afternoon against Pat Ryan, two-time champion. Absolutely. We have a big challenge ahead of me, so I'll just have to get the head down, play as well as I can, and wish Pat the best of luck, and hopefully we'll get there in the end. All these fellas out of Cork. <laughs> <laughs> to Cork and Tipperary have played Holland and all that down the years, and it was always a ding-dong battle, and I have no doubt this fella, it won't be any different. But anyway, so look, we'll give it a shot, and if we, oh, we'll, if we win, we win. If we don't, it's great to be here. It is indeed, and it's great to have Pat Ryan in his third final. Amazing record, really, but John Barry stands in his way. Out to the four balls on the 14th. Tricky little par three down the hill. David flying the flag for Galway in this final. Just trying to find the right edge of this hole if he can, and that's a super approach. Puts a little bit of pressure on the Kilkenny pairing, you would have to say. Just taking control of this final going. Declan Grimes in a spot of bother on the left, but recovers beautifully. If just hangs on a little bit. Dovetailing well, this pair. So David trying to, ooh, all round good putt, you'd have to say. But that is advantage Galway in this final. Back to the 11th, which is the second hole in the final. In this shorter format, just a nine hole match. And that really from 187, excellent tee shot down the 11th hole. Pat Ryan with the fairway rescue trying to reply. Also a good shot, just finds the right fringe. We just had a little early morning rain which has just slowed up conditions a little bit, so advantage here for Barry. Trying to strike first blood. That'll be in for par, so still pressure on Pat Ryan. And finally, Pat's not up to it, so it's advantage to John Barry. One up through two. Son Patrick. Now watch this for a beauty. A little bit of local knowledge here from Pat Ryan. 
Using all the contours here at Rhodes Heath. You need many years of experience to be able to hit shots like that. <laughs> Pensive mood for the Galway pairing. Colin Dunn. Oh, just this putter has dried up a little bit for him in this final. That on the 15th green. <laughs> Trying to roll it in for a half. So Galway in the driving seat in this final. He kind of knows it. Kilkenny man not used to losing finals. So John Barry's been in a spot of bother here down the right hand side. All depends on the live ball well below his feet. Will want to move from left to right. But out of this wet rough with seven iron. Never easy. Giving it a good hoosh. Just finds that grass bunker just short of the grain. Chance for Pat Ryan. Can he capitalise? Safely on the grain. So advantage Ryan here on 13. a little steamy there for Pat. Can Barry roll it in? Oh, he just leaves it short, so tension is building in this final. Can John Barry go where no man has gone before? Take out Pat Ryan in a final. Let's see how Ryan can respond. And yet again, Lady Luck against Ryan on the grains. Advantage Barry. Unfortunately, the weather has come in a little bit again. And Kilkenny really under pressure in this four ball. Daly to stay alive on the 17th green. Oh, and it's low and left. So this is Declan Grimes to win the Irish Open match play 2019. In it goes. Galway are our champions. Hats off, shake hands. Disappointing for Kilkenny, but a wonderful win for Galway. They'll be happy going back across the Shannon this evening. So we have a winner in the four ball, back down to the singles, back down to the 17th tee. John Barry, one up. So in command of this match, you'd have to say. All the pressure on Pat Ryan, giving up a little bit of distance from the tee too. That trusty utility club for Pat Ryan, but just an iron in here for Barry. In the mayor's office down the right hand side. Can he convert? And he does find that front right portion of the green. So Ryan was in a spot of bother with a second. Two putts from here for John Barry and he will be our champion. Just a little bit shy. Ryan trying to stay alive. And yet again another putt fails to drop. John Barry, 2019 Irish Open match play singles champion, Pat Ryan, finally defeated in the final. Congratulations to Galway, the four ball champions for the Irish Open match play sponsored by Flo Guest. You must be delighted, lads. Absolutely delighted now, two grand long days, five rounds, but sure, got there in the finish. And Declan, you had the the nice feeling of holding the winning pod, what was it like? I was nervous enough, you know. Once it dropped, you know. Lucky enough, I did. 
And David, it's been a great year for you. You won your, your club championship as well, so all around a brilliant season. I did, uh, Gary, yeah, thank God, yeah, so everything fell into place at the right time, so. So where did you come across the Irish Open match play, guys? Uh, just through social media and word of mouth, so we said we might as well give it a crack and see what happens. Sure. I didn't know high expectations coming down, but sure, when I kept going through the round by round, we said, well, it's here to be won, so why not? John Barry, you are 2019 Flogas Irish Open Match Play Champion. How does it feel? Feels great. Thank you very much. It's a great achievement. Um, had a lot of matches to get here and some great matches to get here. And I had the bounce of the ball on the way as well, which all helps. And obviously, the final against Pat Ryan, a two-time champion, not easy to beat Pat. No, not easy. And I was warned beforehand that he was a hard man to beat. So Cork and Tip, we had a great battle as we've had many a time in the hurling field. So it was great to come out on top for Cork this year. And it must have been special to have your son Patrick on the back. Absolutely, absolutely. I think his first week in college this week and uh, he was debating would he come up or not come up. And I said, well, it's up to you. If he wants to, he can come. And I think without him, I wouldn't have got here. I wouldn't be standing here now at the moment. He made some great decisions along the way for me. John, you're a worthy winner. Many congratulations. Thank you very much, Gary. So that concludes the 2019 Flogas Irish Open Match Play Championship. Thanks for watching and entries open for 2020 at irishopenmatchplay.ie.